Hello. Welcome. Hello. How's everybody doing? Good. How are you? Good. Everybody's hearing everybody, right? Yep. Yep. Awesome. awesome. Well, welcome to the show, the podcast, uh, we are ULPLM. Universal Light, Pure Love Ministries. And today we have a special guest, channel intuitive, shaman, energy healer, galactic, and spiritual coach, Vicki Lynn. She has a show on YouTube I've watched a few times and very interested. I really uh, love your show. I love when you are when you contact or talk with the uh, inner earth, with the beings yeah. of the inner, inner earth. And uh, that's something I, I'm really interested in as well. So how did you come upon, uh, you know, your abilities or, or you know, channeling? Is that, did this start at a young age? Um. You know what? Looking back at our life, um, I actually, it was when I was uh, 47, which was, what, six, seven years ago. Um, okay. I was at a time in my life that um, uh, I was at that place that I was ready to pass over. I was done with life. I was sick all the time. My body was declining. I was in the hospital more than I was out of the hospital for years, for like two years. And so I asked God, I said, if you, if there's something different, you got to show me a way. So, and I was crying. And then my daughter told me, she goes, mom, you got to watch this documentary on sun gazing. So we watched it. And then I did it that night. And what sun gazing is, is you put your feet on bare ground and you just gaze at the sun. You can look at it right as it rises for an hour or as it's setting, you can look at the sun. So, I was thinking, I'll try anything. We tried it. And that moment, on July 15th, 2012, it changed my life. I instantly felt like the vibration run through me, like a tunnel of vision. And um, so I've been sun gazing since that day. And um, what sun gazing does is it opens up the pineal gland. So it opens you up to your intuitive self so um and it's a natural fast way and when you are grounded with your feet bare feet on ground on dirt um all the elements are there and if you drink water after and then put your place your hands above your eyes then you can see the visuals that your pineal gland is bringing to the surface so because right. you're bringing forth all the elements of your whole beingness yeah i watch you and i've seen I've noticed you, you, uh, you know, the way you, you, uh, carry yourself is like someone who's done it pretty much all their lives. So kudos to you. Just oh. only since 2012, I think, oh. and I think that's something that you've, you've always had within you, but you really woke up to it right, right? Absolutely. in 2012. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Started using it. Absolutely. And you know what? And, and if you look at your lives too, you have had pieces. Everybody has have had yeah. pieces of their life that um, has showed them where to go. You just kind of ignore them. You don't see them what, for what they are. And so yeah. I'm very grateful to be where I'm at. And that was such an honor for you to say what you say, because I am what I'm becoming. And, and, and for you to say that, that is such an honoring for me. You know, oh, so good. Thank I'm glad. Thank you. I'm glad. Thank you. Glad I was able to do that for you. Thank you for Absolutely. being here. Your energy yes. and your shared energy and what you're saying to me, ditto. Yeah. Right back at you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. You know. So, well, who have you been? Uh, I'm going to let these guys ask questions. I'm going to try not to take over because I do that. But <laughs> uh, who have you I been talking hear. with recently? Who have you been channeling recently? You know what? Who has been coming through me recently is um, it's more uh, it's Arion because I channel a collective of 12. But I don't put a name to it because all 12 of them are coming forward. So okay. um, the one thing that I'm learning is that we, to me, it feels like when you're labeling, you're lessening the energy. There's yeah. a there. The, yeah, and they're bigger than that. They're bigger yeah. than that, you know. And um, us humans, you know, 
we always want to do that labeling and, and, yeah. and yeah. I, you know, and um, so now I allow them, but actually who's been really coming to me is Telos from inner world. Telos okay. has really been coming big time and the galactic because they're actually uh-huh. kind of both the same. They, right. it is the inner galactic coming force also who has been merging our energies are merging and um, we're merging to the ancient self of who we are. So all these beingness that we have from under earth are merging with our existing self to learn and grow as a wholeness, as we grow into our light. And, um, and you can just feel that. And so Telos has been showing me how to really anchor in those vibrations and the rainbow people have just came forward. They've been with me for a long time, but they've really anchored into my system over the last week. And um, the rainbow people are bringing forth the energy of new earth because they bring forth the, the, um, the, the vibrance of color into our existence. So like now when I'm seeing colors over just the last couple of days, I see them more vivid. I see them even as colors as like a blurring. I, I can't explain it, but they're vivid blurring. It's, it's, it's amazing. And so, um, yeah, what we're becoming is blowing me away. It, it's blowing me away. And everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing yeah. it, you know. And um, that's the amazing thing is, and because we're so light, and our lightness is expanding. The darkness is expanding. So you can see easier yeah. which place each person's holding. And it's not bad if they're holding the dark. It's just their right. experience for the moment. Yeah. You know? I so agree. I know I'm over talking. So, yeah. I'm not, oh, no. I'm not, no, no, you're not over talking yeah. at all. Yeah. So Very, I'm yeah. soaking it in. Yeah. And I'm sure a few of our, our viewers are soaking it in as well. So Great. did you have a question for her? Oh, well, you pretty much answered it, but, um, you know, um, I would like to hear a little bit more about like the rainbow people. Cause for some reason that, that sent a little something going on in me. So if, if you got a little more about that, I I'd love to hear it. Absolutely. And you know what, actually they came through this morning and, um, they're actually an energy that is really coming from the ninth and the seventh dimension. And their frequencies are here to bring in the new timeline that's here, which is called New Earth or whatever name, or whatever name you guys want to put on it. But you can feel yourself expanding into this newness. And so they're really amping up this newness of yourself. So you're seeing the color of what you truly are. I want to, ex- I want to tell you a little story that happened. Um, because actually the rainbow people are part of this. Um, my grandson, who's six years old, we were in the hot tub the other day and he, he, I told him, I said, um, I want you to, uh, I said, there's a spaceship above us. And he goes, have you lost your mind, Nana? And I said, (laughs) absolutely. I never want to hold myself into the mind. (laughs) And then, and then I told him, I said, don't see it, feel it with your heart. And then he goes, Oh my God, man, I feel them. So then I ask him to ask a question. I asked him to, cause he didn't know at first. So I asked him, I said, are they part of us? And he said, yes, they're family. And then he said that it's actually, he goes, Nana, it's your mothership that is always with you. He said the commander that there's right now, his name is Weston and his wife, what he called him is Natalie. And then I said, are they bring because he we talked like 30 minutes but there was bits and pieces and one of the things i asked him i said are they bringing in the new earth energy and he goes nah he goes they're bringing in expansion and he goes what does that word mean he goes it feels so big and i said <laughs> and i and he and he kept he was he was so funny because he goes um he goes they're just coming through me they're talking through me he goes i can't believe that they're just talking through me and then he kept telling me that the ships, my father owns all the shifters. Because that's I asked him if that's what they call them there, too. And he said, yes, they're all shifters. And he said that, yes, my father. But I felt, well, as he said, my father that has source, you know. And then 
he said that um, he goes, he kept calling me beautiful. They want to tell you that you're beautiful. And so later on, I asked my grandson, what do you mean? How did you see me as beautiful? And he goes, your colors. He goes, it was colors I've never seen before. He goes, it was shooting out of you. And he go, and, and the amazing thing is, is he goes, Nana, I always wondered if there was God, if God was real. And he goes, now I know. He goes, he's everything. He's the water. Yeah. He's hitting the water. He goes, he's everything. And it was so powerful to see a six-year-old let this come through him and to see it as the innocence and the purity of what it truly was, you know? And it was so funny because my chickens and ducks walked up and he goes, you know, they're aliens. He goes, yeah. you know, they're aliens. and I was like, wow, I felt my core just like, yeah, they are, you know, and we all yeah. are. And um, That's right. I just was so blessed by that moment. And, um, and the amazing thing is, is that, we are all doing that. We're all in and out of those energies that are so pure. Everything around you is so pure and so connected that um, it, it just flows. And then you're just like blown away. And sometimes it takes a couple of days to take that blown away moment. You know what I mean? And then you're like, wow. And all the lights turn on, you know? Yeah. And um, so... I just really came to a place in my life. I honor every moment. I honor the people that come into my life. You know, everybody, even a lady who pushed me off the road the other day. She truly was not in my dimension. She truly was not. I could feel it. It was such a great learning moment. You know what I mean? I honked my horn. I never got mad. I kind of smiled. But it was so gentle how my truck went off the road and then she... But she never, nothing, not even, like, we were completely on different dimensions. And that was totally the universe would show me. Yeah. yeah. And I just, I just love that. I want to bring something forward for you to, um, Ariane, um, that the turtle that is behind you, the uh -huh. turtle that is bringing forth, it carries your Akashic records. It uh -huh. carries your coding. So always is energizing to you i love that i love that because that's, that's what awesome. we're going to we're going to our ancientness and the things that we put around us bring that forward even unconsciously yeah. you know and uh but this amazing turtle is truly an ancient being and yes. i just yes. feel it's love i truly truly do so thank you thank you, thank you. Well, yeah to me it's a representation of uh evolving of, yeah. of growing yeah. Of ascending, yeah. You know? yeah i feel that i feel yeah, that i don't know really, take... yeah because i don't know sh what really turtles energy brings in even though because i clear my mind i don't hold anything when it needs to come through and i love to hear the perception 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 of other people's views because you yeah, can feel too. their energy and yeah. And, yeah. and and such their connection to that yeah yeah, thank Tammy, you. Tammy, you've been pretty quiet. Yeah. Can you hear us? Oh, I'm How just taking it in. I've got goosebumps from head to toe. <laughs> I'm <laughs> on fire. It is I so know. awesome. And it reminds me what is happening to um, you, Vicki, Crystalline, is, is you are becoming that crystal. You are transforming. Wow, look at I got here. And we all are. It reminds me of a scripture that says, walk in the spirit at all times. Yes. So we're able to, if we, if we let go of this world and we let go of our thinking yes. and we can tap into those other dimensions, those other beings and, and you are, oh, that's just touched my heart about your grandson. Um, yeah. You know, because he was so open to receive that message and yeah. get the revelation of of God being everything. Absolutely. And feel it. And yes. you could feel it. 
it's yes. so powerful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. And you know what? Another thing that brought forward for me that I never realized because he said, I said, do you see spirit? And he goes, oh yes. He goes, does spirit have something to do with God? And I said, oh my God. I said, uh, how come you've never talked about it? And he goes, Nana, because everybody says that you're weird and I don't want to be <clears throat> weird too. He goes, <laughs> He goes, but I, they're always there. And then it was so funny. He goes, there's a guy sitting in your thing and his name starts with the J. And, he, and then I was like, oh my God, Jacob, who's my main guy. And I was mm -hmm. just like, it was, I was just blown away. I was so much learning in all that, you know? Right. And you know what? We are the new weird. The yes. weird is the amazing, just like the video when I did with the vibe pipe drive before I got on here. The new weird is the amazing. It truly, truly yes. is. You know, because to really embody this, you got to be weird. To truly yep. trust this, you got to be a little weird. Well, you know, actually, the uh, this is some weird trivia for you. Fun fact: another definition for weird is fate. Yes. Oh my God, I, I love that. I love that. <laughs> I never thought of that, and that just feels so at home. Yeah, it hit me. It hit me at home too. Yeah. The first time I read it, I was like, "Wow." Yeah. I understand. I get that. You know, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was weird. Yeah. Because it was fake. It was fake. It was perfect. It was perfect. Wow. I just, you know how something just hits home? That truly just hit home. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I love how, how you're able to tap in and just, you know, let everything come through, whatever is for your highest and best good. And I, I haven't had one of your private sessions, but I know when you do a private session, you're giving somebody a tangible experience because they can feel it physically in their body. Absolutely. And it is so amazing because you're a forerunner. I mean, you're, you're one of the forerunners that um, are really walking the talk, you know? Absolutely. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. That is so honoring. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know what? It's so amazing because I kind of had those validating words in a healing yesterday. And and, and 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 the one thing I want to bring forward, when I charge, I charge whatever you want to pay, whatever you are bringing worth to the table. And it's so amazing to me is um, that what people bring in as their worth. And then they have one healing and then they bring in their healing and they feel that, they feel that worth that they're bringing to the table. Yes. And that's the amazing part to me. So the one thing is, is that I've learned is to let all the limitations go and trust in this process because the universe has our back all the way there, all the way there, you yeah. know? And, um, and when you allow, pe and, and to honor, to set up your boundaries, if, because us, us, we put ourselves out there so freely and we give so much and all you do too, we give so freely and, we, and in a way we don't honor ourselves because we keep giving and giving and giving and it exhausts our energy because we're taking yeah. on other, and I hate to use this word, but it is what it is. We take on other people's shit. We have to embody it and then yeah. heal it. And then there's yep. no return there. Well, I allow myself, I don't have to take on that. So those people right. have fallen away from me. And that's the amazing part too. It is all right for us to set up our boundaries yep. because we're no longer that. Because we are honoring ourself, our experience all the way around. All the yep. way around. That's right. Absolutely. Yep. I agree. Yep, amen to that. That's, so yeah. we've got a lot of people in the comments section. I'm not able to post the comments for some reason. I, yeah, I'm not going to go into the whole technical issues of things, but <laughs> I'm going to read some questions. Do, do you mind take, talking yeah. to a couple of people? They're really reaching yeah. out. Uh, let's see here. Um, she, Mary Kobani, I don't know if you do this, but uh, she's asking anything from her son, Daria Ann. Uh, for, who have crossed over. Okay, I feel, but I feel, I, I, I just feel love from it. 
I, I yeah. just feel at peace with it. I feel that if anything, it's for her to make peace with that. And I yeah, feel I that it will step forward easily once the peace is made. So yeah. um, I don't feel that there needs to be anything put on it. I feel that the residence of peace needs to flow through the whole event. And then what needs to come forward will in the best yeah. right. way. Yeah. Very good. All right, let's see here what else we've got. Lori Eads said, thank you so much. Well, thank you, Lori. And thank you yes, all. Please thank share you all. this. Thank you. Please thank share you. this out. Thank all who are watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let me see here. Curtis Crow says, I'm gifted and I'm just getting into it. I will be developing up my gifts. So that's awesome, Curtis. Yes. That's right. Good, good job. Yeah, that gives kills. Are you finding um, that people are able to hold that higher energy longer that that they're shedding like you just said people are letting go and they're not i'm i'm seeing the there's still some fear with people that um they they're kind of afraid to let go and be thought of as strange or weird well but uh, go ahead well, the thing is, too, they've also had lifetimes where when they got to this stage, they passed over. And their body has yeah. memory of that. Yeah. And, and their singular cells have memory of that. So they come to a scary place, as you want to call it. And so the thing is, is that because of the everything, everything in the universe is lining up, it will be just become, I want to say harder is the word that keeps coming through. It'll just hit you harder. Until you allow yourself to fully embody. And the amazing thing is if you need to cry and, and go to a bedroom and cry and take a baseball bat to a mattress and you need to cry it out, you're allowed to. If you need to be pissed yeah. off and whatever, you're allowed to. You're allowed to. That doesn't yeah. mean you got to do it in Love front of you. people. You know what I mean? But whatever comes up, it's coming up harder to be surfaced to let go of. Any, any experience you have, any experience, any experience. You are taking on that experience of the whole, even, it's a, if, even if it's on the news. You are a piece of what you are taking on. It's of your perception. Now, it's how you are focusing on in that. Now, if you have attachment somewhere and you, and you take it in, you're like, I could fix that or whatever, and you store it in your body, then it festers. Then right. it comes up, and then it comes up as something different. You know? Right. But uh, when you allow your experience to just flow through you, Oh, okay. Well, okay. I see it. I send love to it. Just allow mm -hmm. it to flow through you. Then you don't feel the hardness. But there are times that that, that trigger does come up because we're going deeper and we're going deeper and we're going deeper. And we're not just doing it out in this realm. We're doing it as a multi-dimensional being becoming one as whole. Yeah. And the way yep. that I feel it is that one experience of your whole experience has chose at this moment to enlighten the whole of you. So it brings all of your experiences to the light. That's how yeah. I feel. So, yeah. yeah. So uh, let's see here. Elise, uh, Amy Elise says, having a sudden rush of anger and depression, help, how, how do I fix this? You know <laughs> We're kind of just that, talking about this. Absolutely, and, and you know what? It's perfect. It's perfect. And, and I'm glad that that's brought up because maybe that's bringing up from us, you know, and, and, and when that happens, when that's that, that energy flow comes on you, the best thing to do is just ground yourself, no matter where you're out, stop and breathe yeah. and take your hands and just allow the energy to just let go, breathe deep into the belly. And I speak light language, so I'm going to clear that. Yes. 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 Your body is saying, body. I am not matching my inner self. self. So when you breathe, 
it breathes you back into alignment of your inner self. Right. So you don't got to go in your mind and think of all the shit that it can be. Let that go. What do your yeah. heart say? Yeah. Thank yeah. you for the alignment. Thank yeah. you. For yeah, focus on what makes you happy. Focus on what you're good at. Focus on right? where, where you thrive. And sometimes right. just focus on that breath and the yep. feeling of, of, of love and, and knowing life is a gift to you in your heart. No matter how hard it is, when you can just breathe yeah. and get into that heart space, and you, you just know. You may not have that, that answer you think you need, but you know. Absolutely. That everything is as it should be. Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. That's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's see here. We've got more questions. They're coming, they're <laughs> flying through. So thank you. Thanks, Sharon, for, for sharing. Here. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, Sharon. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Thank you all. <sighs> I'm not letting How does one find the right vibrations and stay in that right vibration to higher self? Uh, Share Nick Blossom says. Well, the one thing is, if you're looking for something, then you can't be it. You know, because then you're always looking for it. So the thing is, yeah. So you have to step into the vibration that you are now. And then allow your vibration to be as it needs to be. Not what you think that it needs to be. Do you know that when you take a breath and you align yourself, you're at the highest vibrational, the highest vibrational of your life right then at that moment that you've ever been every time. So if you did it today, if you do it 10 seconds from now, if you do it 10 minutes from now, you are at the highest vibration as soon as you align yourself of your life. How freaking joyful is that? You know what I mean? It's awesome. Right? Right. It's awesome too much, but it is. It's it's right. a great yeah. feeling. Yeah, finding and finding the high <laughs> vibration of your higher self. It really is finding just your yourself, being in yeah. balance and, and okay with you. And if you do feel a little offline, you just take those deep breaths and you, that's you it. and you get into that heart space and you suddenly know what it is that's that's throwing you off and you 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 know, you're it's much easier corrected when you're not thinking that things have to be a certain way or have to go a certain way or that you have to feel or do certain things. So when you can just let that go and be in, in your center, yes, it, yeah, it makes yes. things much, much easier. And it's so easy. And you know what, in this experience, we're never meant to do this alone because we're a collective. So right. That's right. If we all, we all have, have to go to mentors to receive healing to help us move along because we're so close to our journey. We are normal. We're having a human experience. We go through that stuckness page page. Yeah. It is that it is a page, you know, we go through that. So when you are resonating with, and, and you can feel it when that person keeps showing up because the universe will show you, you know, I really need something more than because a lot of people, they listen, but they're not receiving the healing of it. You know, they're, they're not, there's not an exchange. So anything that I put out, I ask that exchange become, no matter how it is to come, you know, and, and, and and it is, 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 and it doesn't have to be finances. It's in so many different ways, so many different ways. And um, what a great, what a great honor. Truly it is. (laughs) <laughs> wow Love it. I'm having a lot of stuff in the air today yeah it's beautiful there's a lot of pollen and stuff out there yeah yeah no Let's absolutely see. But that's good we need that pollen yes we do wow so Melissa Pace I feel there is such a higher purpose for me to help and communicate with the deceased but never been able to. And instantly what comes for me with that is she's trying too hard. And that's what we do. Yeah. Cause we feel yeah. a call into it and then you want to make it happen. Yeah. Well, we're feeling a call in because that's part of you. The thing is to come into alignment with that, to that frequency. 
So you don't got to do anything. Just breathe and just keep allowing that frequency to be part of you. And then it'll show up. When you're pushing against and you're it, doing the middle part, yeah. I noticed in my own life, in my own life, when you're pushing, I got to make this happen. I got to make this happen. Do you feel how hard yeah, we all get in our own way? <laughs> right? We right? So yeah. just breathe and just feel that frequency. That was like the secret. That's what they kept out. To bring right. in yep. truly anything that you are is to become that frequency of it. And then it yep. just guides into your life and then it just shows up and then you're like, wow, okay. And it's happening faster and faster and faster because we are yes. tuning faster and faster and faster. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yep. Right. Yeah, I, I totally that would agree with you on that. Yeah. Going yeah. faster and faster. And it just keeps getting faster. Right. And keeps yeah, getting no weirder. Story. But you know. It's a great time it to be alive. So amazing. It really Margaret is, Webster, yeah. Webster um, asks, what do you see for her in her life generally? I'm going to be very honest. I feel a hard road for her. I feel like she's taking the hard way. I feel okay. like it's even setting me off balance. Like, it's making this whole side of myself like feel really heavy. So like a paralysis, uh, huh? That uh, left side, like a para like yeah. a paralysis yes. on my left side yes. is what I feel. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's exactly what I feel. Yeah. Like, yeah. So she just needs to come into alignment of herself to just keep breathing, do meditation, and um, allow. She's pushing. I feel pushing like, wow, like strongly. So, and just allow to come back into her yeah. own experience. Yeah. 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 Great message. Great. Very good message. Let's Thank see here. You. Uh, Amy Elise says, is there any guidance? <laughs> Amy Elise. Amy Elise. <laughs> they're telling me to tell her to smile, 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 smile. That's what they're telling me. Smile. Yeah. So smile, man. Enjoy life. Truly. Truly enjoy life. You know? That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you. I know that seems hard for some people, but yeah. I, I'm going to throw this in. Because sometimes for me, because I'm a fire sign. And I have, I don't know, temper issues that I'm still getting to the bottom of. So when you get to those places, though, that really it seems like too hard to just breathe and really let go. The best thing to do to really change up that per perception is, is to completely look at your task differently. Whatever it is that you're doing, try to flip it away. Me, sometimes I feel like, oh, my God, I got to do 10 things to get to this one thing. I have to then switch from looking at those 10 things before I hit my goal and just focus on my goal. That way the frustration tends to slip, you see? So really overthinking is, is a big thing for many of you, learning to just let that go, release yeah. it, know that yes, there are steps to get there and just just, just say that, don't, don't count them, don't worry about them, just move through them. Absolutely. You're in the middle of it. So just yep. keep moving forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what? Amy Elise says, ha ha, I hear you. I hear it. So she hears the second. <laughs> I said, love. Thank you, Annalise. Wow. Thank you. Now, Alexandra O'Hara says, uh, I know this all makes sense to me and reflecting the same, whoops, the same piece as if sound or as if myself and yesterday. What is that? Myself and yesterday, yet I distrust that I should be here. Distrust. Yeah. yeah. And that's just the getting used to things. Yeah. You know, when right. we're we're exposed to something new, yeah. it can be scary at sometimes. But that yeah. that's you know, and we I was asked earlier about, you know, what do I do about bad dreams? I'm like, well, obviously you're being put in those places so you can learn to overcome those fears, right. and Absolutely. you can learn to move through that so you don't have those bad dreams anymore. I haven't Absolutely. had a nightmare in years because I've done the work and gone through it and yeah. been able to stand up to my own fears. That doesn't mean I don't still have fears, but oh, you know, I've been able to move through a lot of them. Right. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. And um, wow, they're clearing me right now. Uh, wow, feel into it because they're like downloading me. So if you guys feel into this download, it's so perfect that um, yeah. Tam is creating movement because right there is validation. Just allow Ooh. yourself to feel into this. And, and I'm coming from the energy of Mount Shasta. So you guys are all connecting into Mount Shasta right now. And just allow it to run through. But the thing is, is that when people are seeing things also, is that um, their soul is receiving it on a level that they are not actually aware of. So their soul right. is getting all the codes, all the benefit, and then their consciousness is just going to catch up to itself. Right. You know? And um, right. so, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of things that will come in and we'll download and, and that people, it's okay to not fully understand. No, yes. you're taking it the way you should be. Absolutely. Letitia Pottier, Pottier, Pottier says uh, she's asking for a message, a general message, if you could be so kind. Mm. Mm. They're telling me to step out of the way. They're telling her to step out of the way. What that means to me is she needs to step out of the way of her own experience. So she needs to get out of her own way. So feel that in your heart, if that resonates in your heart. But that's what they're showing. And like my heart is even like going like this. So kind of step out of your own way and see what comes up. You know what I mean? It's amazing what shows up when we get out of our own way. You know? Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Well, let's do a couple more here, and I'm—I have to ask you that the pyramid behind you—that's awesome. What is that? I, what is that what used I, for? You know what? I bring in energy. Uh, it came to me in a vision, and so I just created it, and it's so amazing because my granddaughter at the time, who was seven, she stepped into it, and she goes, "Nana, do you know the power of this?" I said, "I feel uh, it, but you just validated it." Yeah, so, pyramids uh, are very energy? powerful. Yeah, but the thing is, is that I feel where we're going, we're all creating a portal out of here. Wow, I don't know why that came through. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Love it. Wow. You and me get the similar messages, that. I noticed. I think that's why I was so drawn to watching your video, because we get similar messages. Yes. Oh, do we really? I've never watched yeah. you. Um, I've never seen any of your videos, so I was really, when Tammy said that you were going to be on this morning, man, I was so excited, because um, <laughs> I just felt your energy, I just felt the energy of, of the picture, actually, is what, so I was really excited. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I was excited, cool. I'm, I'm still excited, excited I'm having fun right now. Right, <laughs> me too, we could do this all day long. <laughs> right, <laughs> yep, well, I love it, I love the energy. Right. Too. Yeah. It feels yes. good, you know, it, to step into this frequency, the higher energy. It yeah. feels so good that yeah. you don't want to leave it, and yeah. you don't have to. Yeah. That's the messages that I've been getting through, is that people can stay in that energy as long as they want to, and like you said, just move out of the way. Right. That's exactly Once it. you feel this type of energy, you feel it from head to toe. I mean, everything, yeah. the goosebumps, and you just rest in it, knowing that, um, you know, you are balanced. You're going to open a vortex above your head. Yes. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. There's, so there's vortexes I... more and more. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Tammy. I'm sorry. Oh, that... You guys were talking about the vortexes, and and I've been seeing, too, that other people are talking about the same thing. That just goes to show how we're all connected, that yeah, we're all gosh. truly one, yeah, consciousness, energy, spirit, whatever term you want to call it. But because that, that frequency, it keeps going in motion. Going from person to person to person, everybody's lighting up. Everybody's getting the same message, and and then we're drawing others in because it it, it feels good. It's addictive. It gives people release and relief. And once they feel that spirit 
inside of them coming alive and to feel the frequency over their body. It's just more and more being added to the collective. And those vortexes, we're going to start seeing them more out in general, every day, going about your everyday life. You'll be at the store and see a vortex over somebody's head. Or you'll be doing, uh, you'll be at the bank and you'll see somebody with a vortex over their head. And it's so powerful. I love it. It is. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. The one thing that I want to bring in because our words are very powerful. So what we create. So everything you said, Tammy, I completely, absolutely feel, know, am. But this addictive word, we are not. Yes. We are not addictive to anything because we are. This yeah, is, we are. We are. This is just been yeah. put into society to down. Yes. Ground grade us. None of us are addictive. None of yes. Us. It's who we are. Yeah. You're right. We are this. You know? mm-hmm. So for the collective, I clear that for the collective, you know, that we are not this. Yes. Because it is not acceptable. We are not that. You know, I love you guys. I just am so honored to be here, to be in this presence, to have yes. this experience with these powerful beings and to feel the love that is here right now. You know, yes. and we're all, like Tammy said, we're all doing it together. We're That's right. all enriching each other's lives. Yeah. You know, just by Learning this. Learning from each yeah. other and, yeah, teaching each other. I mean, yeah. it, yes. Yeah. Th- that's that collective consciousness is, it, there's proof of it right now. I mean, look at the internet right. and look at the, right. you know, how we're able to connect right now. Yeah, I mean, this right is now. collective right. consciousness. You know, if you can right. think about collective consciousness on a simpler level like that, it's right. not so hard to grasp. You know, it, it, it's basically, we, we have, we are, each our own computer right and we can we we are all connected to that same network of everybody yeah you know and we can hear we can feel from each other and this isn't only on earth this is through the multiverse yeah absolutely. yes, yes. Absolutely. through it all and through, through the all. dimensions oh, yeah. the multi-dimensional the multiverse right <laughs> we are all that we are all that and so a lot of people are gonna they get you know to this place and they're like but you know, I still hear these thoughts. I still see this stuff. Well, the thing is, because you're collective. So yeah. it's running yeah. through you, not to feel them, but just to send love to it. Because then it's, yeah. it's sending love to the collective, you know? Yeah. Because that's just showing the connection that you are. Because we are all yeah. that, you know? Yeah. And, um, and it's so amazing because of, um, I've gotten to a place that things... I don't feel the triggers of that anymore. I do have triggers. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm living in a human experience. But my triggers aren't hitting me as they used to. Have you noticed, especially because everything is lining up, that you're further away from even a traumatic event, that you don't feel it? It feels like another lifetime because it was another lifetime. Because now we've all jumped on jumped on. We have. We've jumped on to this new energy and new frequency that's here. Now yeah. we're acclimating it and we're learning from it and we're learning our new abilities. And that's why things are shown up. Our abilities right. are shown by what is we're focusing upon, you know, and yeah. that's what's powerful. Because when you right. can swap, when even something so simple as walking through a day and smiling and making that person's present feel more enlightened, because you did. Yeah. That's, that's gratitude because you gave that person love. That's the exchange. Yeah. 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 And we are all. So, Amy Lee says, Amy Lee says, thank you all. This has raised my vibration significantly. My day has turned around and I have found a love frequency to ride. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's a mutual thing. You're sharing this energy with us. So, just because you're not live on the screen doesn't mean your energy isn't valid. Intermingling with the rest of ours, so you're part of that. That's right. That is absolute. (coughs) Let's see here. So, do you? Why don't you let everybody know how 
to get a hold of you if they would like a, a session with you or sure. coaching and, session yeah. or reading? What types of things? Or, you, you know, your some services. of your shows on YouTube? Okay. Um, yeah, you can go to Vicki Crystal Lynn and it's just, or Vicki Lynn actually both will go. Just go to Vicki okay. Lynn or Vicki Crystal Lynn and go to YouTube. And I have over 400 videos. That is literally my whole enlightened experience in the last couple of years. Now, some people always ask me, which one do I watch? Go to the one that resonates with you. If you need a starting point, yeah. um, because these have codes for that starting point, and if, even if you do not even understand one word, right? later on you will, you know? So, and also too, you can go to uh, Vicki Crystal Lynn at Gmail, and um, that will also take you to my Gmail if you want a healing or a, a reading. And okay. um, I, when people always say, well, what is the reading going to be like? I bring in the reading that's for your highest and best. I work with your guides. I work with the assistance of your higher self. So whatever at that time is present for you that you need to know, that's what comes through. A lot of beings come forward and they want psychic readings. They want me to uh, give them, you know, what their future is going to be like. Right. And you can change that. I'm coming yeah. in. I came into a place to bring and turn on your body so you know how to move through life. I am turning on all your senses. So, because so, we have all senses, just like the species of the dogs. They, know, they work with their senses. They know. It's an instinct. I'm turning on your instincts so that you can move through life gently your own way. Because right. we're, none of us are doing it the same. None of us are doing it the same. So um, through this, you can get me through YouTube, through my Gmail. Um, those are the best ways through Facebook. I have Instagram, Vicki Crystal Lynn. Um, so it's all under Vicki Crystal Lynn or Vicki Lynn. Um, okay. And that's the easiest way. Yeah. Awesome. And I thank you. Thank, I thank you. Thank you. Yes. I thank you all for being here. Tammy, do you have any other questions before we uh, sign off? And oh, I would like yeah. to. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Tammy. Um, there was a question in, in the chat that I really feel like we should ask, and it's from Cher Nick Blossom. And she would like to know, how can one teach their children more about spirituality so they can have an easier life and a right vibration? Absolutely. Well, the thing is, if you're trying to teach your children, you're working from the wrong side. Because your teachers, your, your your teachers are your children. So she's judging them, thinking that she needs to teach them. She needs to learn from her children. She needs to step out of the way of herself and embody what her children look like at their level. When they're bringing forth an experience, allow that experience. Even if it's messy. Look what they're creating. Yeah. Get out of your way and see it from your children's level. They are our teachers. Right. They are teachers. I send you love. I understand that completely. I've been there. I completely know this question, but I understand it now where I am with my grandchildren. Watch them. Watch your children. They're very powerful beings. You know, they truly are. I hope that helps. And, and when we try to, sorry, when you try to guide too much, I feel like that's where like labels and all that other stuff yeah. kind of comes into the consciousness and con confuses things almost. So yeah, when we take that kind of almost backseat role and, and allow them to teach us and, and I mean, yes, of course, guide them obviously, but not, you know, teach them per se. I, I feel like, yeah, things will be much easier for them to understand in their way. Yeah. If we allow yeah, we children to be as they are in the little beingness that they are, like if you're giving them a coat or a sweater, you, you walk out the door. Okay, it's I'll use my son, Zane. Zane, it's going to be cold outside. What would you, you like to use? A sweater or a coat? Give him a choice. You know right. what I mean? And would you like to carry it or would you like to wear it? Because yeah. then they're given their own choice. You're not yeah. fighting with them. You know what right. I mean? And I, too, am just learning this. I, too, right. am just learning this. This is something I've struggled. My son is my, you know how you have that pinpoint person that brings everything to the surface? This is my son. 
Well, I've really stepped back over the last couple of months and I've seen how he works. He's very powerful. He's very powerful. Yeah. It was me putting my shit on him, thinking that I needed right. to yeah. teach him this, that I needed him to be my way. No, I need to step away and let him be his way, guide him a little bit. Like I said, yeah. like with the sweater and coat. But it was me allowing that experience to unfold, to to arrive it to be gentle. And not that I don't go back into that parent mode that I used to be. I've been doing it for four, 54 years. But it's getting gently. Each step is less and less. You know, it used yeah. to be 10 minutes, now it's five minutes. Now it's two minutes, you know? So I'm grateful yeah. for that. Yeah, I hope I answered yeah. it. <laughs> that was a great answer, yes. Yeah, I think oh, so. Well, thank, thank you all for being here. Yes. If you like, please go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Universal Light Pure Love Ministries thank you. Thank you. on YouTube. And Anywhere else, Instagram, and check out Vicky, Vicky Crystal Lynn or Vicky Lynn yep. on all the social networks and send her a message at one more time Vicky Crystal Lynn Gmail or Vicky, Vicky Crystal Lynn on Gmail. Okay. Yeah, Vicky, Vicky Crystal Lynn on Gmail or Vicky awesome. Crystal Lynn YouTube. Awesome. awesome. Absolutely. And uh, I, I really, it was my uh, our pleasure having yes, you on. Yes. We're Thanks. honored. Thank you. We'd love to have you back soon. Thank you. You got it. You got it. I love you guys. You have uh, a great week. Thank you. May you all be blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> I can't okay. hear you.